Welcome back, welcome back to our next episode of our Pokemon Emerald Sea Glass playthrough. In the last episode, we made it up to Route 113, I think this is. And we are going to work our way over to the next city. Um, we are grinding up Cooper a little bit, getting him kind of caught up with the squad. I think the rest of the squad's more leveled up, if I remember correctly. Let me take a quick peek. I was just looking. 26s, 25s, and 20 there. Perfect. Perfect. We do have the experience share. So, hey there, Breezy. It's me, Elliot. Just took a shot at catching this man type that took off. I came oh so close. It spoiled my day. All right. See ya. See ya, buddy. <coughs> uh, I am back from vacation. So, appreciate everybody who was watching the videos while I was gone. Um, F1 was a great time. It was very exhausting, let me tell you. Um, we thought that it was going to be a regular F1 weekend. We thought it was going to be Friday practice, Saturday qualifying, Sunday race. That's usually how the weekends go. But it was a sprint weekend, and I hadn't even noticed. I don't know. I guess I really didn't look at the schedule. I just never it never popped up and never really like made it very known that that's what it was going to be so i didn't notice so until like a week before uh we didn't know it was a sprint weekend so and there was a bunch of concerts going on which i did not know about so on friday they had a practice they had the sprint qualifying and then they had a sting concert stings an artist who i don't even really listen to i don't really know him like that but bish knew him so i'm sure a lot of you guys know who he is he's apparently been around for a very long time he's an old dude uh so you know we got there you know we landed in the morning we flew in you know we left here at like three in the morning barely slept got there immediately um immediately basically changed and went to the race uh, got there didn't really get to see any of the practice, but there was other other races going on. Um, so we Got to see that stuff And what else what else what else and then we were there from basically like noon until Well, not noon. It's probably like two o'clock until like eight o'clock at night um, Because of you know the travel day and then the concert at the end of the day it might have been later than that. It might have been like nine that we left, and then we had to walk back to our um, <clears throat> to a shuttle to bring us back to the hotel, which was like three miles of walking to get to the shuttle. It was insane. Let shuttle gets back to the city. It's a mile and a half to the hotel, so we took this little took a little bike with the you know the little seat in the back, little chariot, pretty much. Uh, brought us back to the hotel. We should have just took an Uber from the race like i wanted to but misha was like let's take the shuttle and the shuttle brought us like two miles from the airport so i, was, I mean from the hotel and i was like i'm not walking two miles after this day that we just had i was so exhausted we we're walking around like crazy so i got that little taxi dude um so first day super super exhausting like insane second day we get there pretty early in the morning i think we you know we had to leave the house by like or leave the hotel by like 10 uh we had to walk, you know, a mile and a half to the shuttle, get to the shuttle, take that. It takes an hour and a half to get to the race. We see the sprint uh, at noon. A couple of the little racing events happen. We see the qualifying for the next day. And then that night is the Eminem concert, which, you know, we're there till like nine o'clock at night. So it's like another super long day. And that night we walked back to the hotel from the shuttle at the end of the night, too. So it was crazy long night. Uh, very, very exhausting. And then Sunday ended up being like the most laid back day because uh, we just got up, took, got to the shuttle, watched the race, and then went back home. Uh, that was pretty much it. It was just the race day. We didn't stay for like the, you know, podium or nothing like that. It was just watch the race. At that point, we were sunburned. We were just exhausted from everything. And we just wanted to just wrap up the weekend pretty much. Um, but it was really awesome. It was a good time. Definitely an experience to say the least. Um, we were in Austin, Texas for it, which was a little underwhelming. Wasn't a huge fan, to be honest. Um, I don't know how many people here have been in Austin or know much about it, but it was not really my cup of tea, to say the least. It was just, it felt like when, you not know, like when something becomes popular, like crumble cookies or something like that, and then they just start popping up everywhere and it's just a big chain. 
it felt like everywhere we went was just businesses like that like it just felt like it was just super just commercialized like not a single nothing felt like a family-owned business or anything every single thing felt like just some commercialized you know on inauthentic place and the whole city just kind of felt like that so yeah we had a couple you know good encounters with some you know um Ooh, are you gonna have counter or like metal burst? Probably gonna, you might have sturdy, so let's break the sturdy. Rock Um, but yeah, I mean, we had a couple good interactions. You know, some bar bartenders were pretty much the only people we met there that were not traveling or not tourists. Like they were the only people that were from Austin, were the people that were working at the bars or stuff or at the restaurant. So, you know, it felt very limited. Um, the morning. The mornings there were terrible. They don't have, they don't do breakfast. They just don't, they don't have coffee and breakfast in the morning. The only breakfast you could possibly find was breakfast tacos, which, you know, that's cool, whatever, to have some of that. But it's like, in the whole, we were near Rainy Street. It's like the whole area. The only thing open in the morning, the first thing opens at like 10 o'clock and it's just breakfast tacos. And that's it. You can get alcohol at any moment of the day, but you can't get a coffee. At least an iced coffee. Some people would have iced coffee. Most of the time it was only hot coffee, but you know, and I'm a big morning person. I like my coffees, obviously. I like the morning routines. So something about that that I, you know, that was one of the things I wasn't the biggest fan of. But um, overall, it was all right. Um, I probably would never go back to Austin for any other reason. I wasn't really planning on going there for the city. There's nothing about it that like drew my attention to it. It was only there because of F1. Really? A five piece in me? You're landing the inaccurate move and getting the five piece? That's gross. Just want you to know that. That's very gross of you. Go to diamond. Goes for the metal claw on the one HP. Love it. Let's go for the flame charge. Uh, but yeah, it feels good to be back, you know, getting some streaming in, get this recording in. I'm starting to get a little bit sick. If you haven't been able to tell, my voice is starting to go a little bit. Um, Misha's been sick. She was sick for like this whole week. And I honestly, the morning we were supposed to like leave, I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to. I genuinely asked her, I was like, are you going to be okay? Like, are we going to go? Because she was coughing really, really bad. But she was like, no, nah. she was like, we're going. Like, we'll figure it out. And, uh, yeah, and I was feeling fine the entire time until this morning. It's Thursday morning. I just I woke up at 4 a.m. or 3 a.m. <clears throat> and yeah, it was not not feeling too hot. Started feeling like, you know, like all the way back of my throat just started feeling a little sore. It's my chest like area. She was saying like she considered like her lungs were inflamed is what it felt like from like coughing so much. And like, it's not as much like a sore throat, but it's just in my chest. You know, and I've just had the urge to cough all day long. And obviously when you're streaming and talking and everything, it's going to increase the likelihood of you wanting to cough probably. So it's not been the easiest, but you know, is what it is, is what it is. I'm hoping I'll be okay. My, I have a wedding to go to this weekend and I have, you know, a Halloween thing tomorrow. So I'm just trying to drink some water. Stay hydrated and eat some cough drops and hopefully it won't hopefully it won't be too bad of course man of course they don't give you the huge power one okay headbutt headbutt you want to learn aerial ace who's this you want to learn it you're a taunt taunt's probably not even bad for you though honestly i should have kept it is what it is not that big a deal. We got hard skills and stuff. I could probably get it back on if I wanted. Omanite coming in. I can hit you with a grass move. I know that much. Oh boy. It's probably going to be kind of a short video. We're about 10 minutes in right now. Um, I do have bowling tonight. I just streamed. I don't really have a ton of time to record. I could record after bowling, but I'm worried that if I start feeling worse and worse, it's just going to be tough to do the video. So 
trying to get it done. Gonna get a section of it out of the way. And uh, see how it goes. These graphics are really cool. I kind of like the design of the city. Hey, I wish it well. You told me there was no more. <clears throat> I was lied to. I was told there were no more wishing wells. You heathens. You heathens. Mm. Alright, can you scoot scoot? I do the po use the Pokemon storage system. Thank you. It Bill set it up, not you, Lynette. Get out of here. It's Bill that set it up. Um, I like the team. Honestly, I like the team a lot, how we have it. Wait. Oh, oh, you, you guys weren't lying. What is this? Battle tent? Wait, this is not a wishing well? Are you serious? Move Tutor's house. How is this not a, a wishing well? Damn, I guess you guys didn't lie to me. That's crazy. Let's check the mark. What are you doing here, Skitty? Nobody likes you. Um, I don't really need to buy heals. I'm kind of enjoying playing the way we have been. You are TMs? Any new ones? Does damage and switch out the user. Oh, Volt and U-turn. I think I already bought those. Um, yeah, I did. I definitely did. <clears throat> huh. What are you doing? You're a challenge flannery? Nope. He, our dad was a elite four trainer? Huh. What are you doing here? You're from Ho you moved from Hoenn to Joe. To Hoenn from Johto. That's great. So you're a trainer with the Pokedex. Develop a challenge for you. Show me you've got 50 Pokemon. So I'll give you special Pokemon from Johto. Oh, thanks. Uh, move tutor. We'll check this out real quick. I teach you move to yours if you'd like. I'll do it for our heart scale. I'm collecting those now. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got for Cooper. Perish song. Um, sand tomb. Nothing. I don't think anyone's going to have anything that I need. So we're good. Let's just get out of there. Um, all right, Route 114. Let's get the Roar TM from you. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, there's grass on this route we get an encounter on. I like the fish, but I also like the battle. Good to know. Good to know, buddy. Alright. We have a very good answer for you, buddy. Gamble! Come on, gamble. Ugh, boy. Oh, you went for the amnesia. Good play. Well played. If only I had a physical grass move, but I don't. We go for Mega Train. <laughs> I thought I had Bullet Seed. Not gonna lie. <laughs> thought I had Bullet Seed. It's okay, he's still cooked. You're cooked. Mm -mm. Fisherman Nolan going down. You're going down, down. I still got the singing. Still got the singing on. Oh, shoot. All right. Need exercise after meal. Let's have a match. Where did you just eat? You're in the middle of a route. What are you doing, lady? All right, a picnicker. Ah, you got a picnic. That makes sense. Okay. Um, oh boy. Oh, pistachio. Let me send your big brother out here. Over the defense girl. Hilarious. Hilarious, I think that's going to save you. When I got the roughest of play. And huge power. Get him out. Get him out. Pinsir coming out. Go Fajita. Get Fajita out here. I wonder if they did anything with Pinsir. I feel like Pinsir's a Pokemon you could switch up like a typing on it. Let's see. Mold Breaker. No, just pure bug. Ugh. Get a big gust off. Go for Harden. Unfortunately, not going to do anything for you. I like Pinsir a lot. I think Pinsir's a cool Pokemon. Very good Pokemon.
spirit break? That's crazy. Spirit break? Oh my god. Can't even talk, but that's crazy. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Bro, Combustion's about to go crazy. Alright, new encounter. Let's see what we get. What do we got? What do we got? A Swabble. Dragon? A little Altaria action. Not my favorite. Not my favorite Mon. I'll be honest. I'll quick attack you. I feel like... Did they make it... I wonder if they made it... Uh, Let me check. I'll see if this thing's typing change. It's probably not, but... I feel like if they think they would change the Altaria. Let me see. Oh no, is that Dragon Fairy or is that Flying Fairy? I don't know, but it looks like... Looks like I crit you and it doesn't matter. I love this. I was thinking about adding that to the team, not gonna lie. Genuinely was. Protein. Sweet. Let's eat some protein. Man, what a shame. What a shame. Hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. This kind of playthrough is more about the game than the team, in my opinion. It's not like, you know, it doesn't seem like it's super, super competitive. You know, at least the settings that I'm playing. I know some people have said you can change the settings and you know, do hard modes and whatnot, but I'm not worried about that. Um, we're just running through the game with the squad we got at the moment. A wingle. Maybe we could one shot you. <sighs> Man, how about you get a coffee for bowling? I'm really, really tired. After I record this, I gotta edit, upload this. I gotta put the goats away. I gotta get to bowling. I'm gonna be cutting it close. I have to be at the bowling alley, laced up, ready to go within an hour. So, starts at 6 30. It's already 5 35 right now. So, just gotta, just gotta get there. Okay, let's get the gamble. Yeah, I'll probably just get to this cave. Maybe I'll do this little quick interaction in the cave. And then I'll have to scoot Mega Drain, Numble, Scoop Pistachio, Aqua Tail. These battles are kind of, you know, easy peasy. Let's just do some scooting real quick. Um, oh, another guy. You're another. Another guy who's gonna get destroyed by Gamble. Mega Drain. Machop. Headbutt. Get him out. Okay. Alright, let's do our encounter in here. And I'm, gonna, I'm trying to catch him. I swear I'm trying to catch the encounters. This is not intentional by any means. I'm just having really bad luck. Come on. A Nidorina. Nidoqueen Queen could always be fun. I always like a nice little Nidoqueen Queen Pokemon. Yeah, we'll go for an Aerial Ace. We'll go for Poison Sting. We go for a Great Ball. And we... Capture it? Sweet. What I'm going to do is pull up the comments because... Hmm. I haven't done that yet. Okay. First one I see. Also, Kirby said he appreciated the Absol review on the podcast. I thought it was pretty interesting. I should do more of them. So I think I'm going to try doing some more of that. I did like doing those. Uh, my podcast, I kind of just gave up on it. Too. Not gave up on it, but I gave up on the weekly uploads. Um, I just, I wanted to get my stream schedule on par and uh go from there all right maurice is actually the first the first name i saw actually i'm gonna switch it to horchop though i think we used this name recently but whatever um yeah the podcast I'm, i'll do them once in a while if i feel like i'm switching up some things or i got some big stuff going on or it's gonna be a super just if i feel like it type of thing you know what i mean i'm not gonna be sweating it and making sure it's uploaded every single week um Maybe I will, maybe I won't, but you know, I was just trying to make sure that I uh, I've been doing pretty good with my YouTube series, you know, being uploaded consistently on time uh, as well as streaming consistently on time. So that's something I'm just super focused on at the moment. Um, obviously, this vacation 
took me out quite a bit. Uh, it was very... Oh, I could have had on. Uh, but the vacation definitely exhausted me and my wife for sure. It was a it was a doozy. And now that you know I'm not feeling good, it's like... The fact that if I was even trying to do a podcast right now episode, I would just be... It would just be terrible. It would not be done well by any means. All right. Get out of here. You want to learn swords dance? Okay. I like that. Um, but yeah, I feel like if I was to try to keep up with the podcast, it's kind of how it felt for me for a lot of times the podcast episodes. I was just kind of like doing it because it's something I had to do. And it was, I really didn't feel like doing it and I would be kind of just not in the mood and it would just be subpar and subpar content something I'm trying to do a little less and less you know I know it's kind of what I do and what you guys love me for but subpar content I'm trying to switch it up and get some good content out there but we got a couple encounters done out the way even though I think I killed all of them um and next up we have to go back to Mount Chimney and go do the stuff up there and then we get a gym battle uh, depending on how much speed up I use, I guess will depend whether or not we get to the gym in the next episode. I'm trying to use less of it. I used to say that, you know, from time to time it doesn't work, but thank you guys for coming through. Leave some nicknames and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.